Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Diablo. It's the next day, and I just basically decided, fuck it, I'm gonna record some Diablo, because... Damn it, I am just enjoying the hell out of this game right now. And storming through it quite quickly as it happens, so let's kill some more demons. Apparently there's rather a lot of them over in this area. You guys need to die-die. Okay, that could have gone better. And I have no idea what those shrines are trying to say, so whatever. No reason for me to care. Die, bats, die. Nobody likes you. Except for your bat mommy, probably. And yes, I just use that as an excuse to make an indirect yo mama joke. Deal with it. Dear lord, these things are tough. They really are. I mean, honestly. That's gone through, like, half the health potions in my quick bar already. I may have to return to town a little bit sooner than I originally anticipated. We will see. And this chainmail. I think it's safe to say it's the thing that's keeping me alive. Well, we found the entrance down to level 9 already, so that's nice, I'm sure. But, I'm not gonna head down just yet. First, I have to check this out and just see what kind of stuff there is around here. You know, my usual nosy poke behavior when it comes to visiting a new level in this game. As you've seen me doing basically every time we've gone downstairs so far. There we go. Touch the shrine. And get some potions of rejuvenation. That was a nice reward. Unlike that one shrine that literally drained my magicka from me. Which didn't matter because I'm not a mage. Speaking of mages, I'm gonna have to try playing a mage in this game. I've seen the odd magical playthrough and it definitely looks interesting. If a bit more challenging in the early game. But I'd like to give it a try for myself. I don't tend to play mages in this sort of game, just because generally uh, I find a rogue slash thief to be the more interesting type of playthrough. Not sure why, that's just how I've always done things. Okay, is there even anything in this room? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Basically a dead end, it looks like. That's unusual. I don't think we've run into any rooms before that were just straight up dead ends. Illusory dead ends that actually contained enemies once we started to turn our back, sure, but... I don't think we've had a legitimate, honest-to-god dead end before that. Unless I'm severely misremembering things. Which is entirely possible. I could just be misremembering. And I could have had a dead end before and just 
to be remembering it wrong. But I don't think so. That is unusual, though. And there's our death. First one of the level. Okay. Seems legit. Now you guys. Hmm. Head down this way, I guess. Why the hell did I do that? Oh, fuck. There are a lot of those guys. And I thought the archers were bad. Seriously, dogs shooting energy blasts at me. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Let's check out the map. That direction... Right. This way is the only one I haven't gone in yet, so I'm gonna have to deal with the doggos. Somehow. Or leave part of the level unexplored. We'll see. Open up. Yeah. They do love their energy blasts. That's for sure. Seriously, Goku, why did you have to teach them how to shoot energy blasts? You're just making my life more difficult. Yes, I'm making random Dragon Ball Z jokes now. <sighs> what can I say? It was one of my favorite TV shows, so yeah. A thing that most certainly is. Apparently, standing on that poison goo is painful. Who would have thunk it? Okay, please die. Something shooting lightning at me from over there? Lots of it. And let's reset my quick bar to have the other items I'm going to be using on it. There we go. Now, Looty McLoot time. Save the game. You are dead. <clears throat> Looks like there's a bit more of this area to explore than I originally thought. I figured we were basically done already, given how much we'd explored, but there's quite a bit of it over here. Surprisingly enough. Huh. Curious. Very, very curious. Please die, puppies. Okay. I don't know what you are. Please run. Come on. Run away from the bad dogs. And get mauled by the dogs. Bad dogs. Very bad dogs. That's what you are. That's what you all are. Just bad dogs. That's what you are. You be bad dogs, yo. Oh, 
Come on, die. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Sit. Now play dead like a good dog. Yes, good doggo. Play dead. Like you know you want to. Good job. Good job. Another potion of healing. Tale of the Three. The fuck is this? I don't know, but I want to know. Okay, I'll be getting back to that once the puppies have been dealt with properly. Seriously, interrupting my reading like that. How rude. I just wanted to have a little read. The puppies had to throw their spitballs at me while I was reading. I mean, really, how inconsiderate can you get? Clearly these dogs have not been appropriately housebroken. Otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. Okay, they've been dealt with, let's read. Glory and approbation to Diablo, Lord of Terror and Leader of the Three. My lord spoke to me of his two brothers, Mephisto and Baal, who were banished to this world long ago. My lord wishes to bide his time and harness his awesome power so that he may free his captive brothers from their tombs beneath the sands of the east. Once my lord releases his brothers, the Sin War will once again know the fury of the Three. Okay, that was interesting, if a bit disturbing. I think it goes without saying, though, that we want to avoid uh, one demon lord releasing another two, if we can. So, let's stay away from that whole state of affairs, if at all possible, I think would be preferable. Okay, now please drink up. We've got more puppies who are being naughty. I gotta run. Okay, there we are. That room back there should be relatively cleared out, hopefully. Right. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. However, I am running low on potions. Two of what I have currently are the rejuvenation potions, which are my special ones. But now... Let's put those points into dexterity and let's say another two in vitality. There we go. Now save. Looks like the place is a little bit more populated than I thought. Okay. I'm almost dead. But this room has been fully cleared of enemies. Hmm. Save the game. 
yeah. We've cleared out that area, but I am almost dead, so. I may have to make a return to town to heal up before we progress further. It's getting more difficult down here. Given that we're on level 8 now, that shouldn't be surprising. But I am level 16, so... We're able to make semi-reasonable progress. Which is nice. There we go for them. I'll save. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was definitely pushing my luck there, so... <sighs> now it's time to go home. We can sell off our supplies and restock on potions. Also, we should probably restock on those town scrolls, honestly. Oh, what can I do for you? You can buy our shit, Griswold, as you've been doing all this time. You can also fix our shit. Hmm. Don't suppose you have any hats that I would want? Hmm. Plate of the Wolf, that would be something that I could probably do with. Just to be able to tank some more hits, since enemies tend to get up close a lot, but it's pretty expensive. Silver Amulet for more chance to hit, would also be kinda nice. We'll see. No. Mm. Not seeing anything else in the way of... <sighs> Like bows or anything. I'll make sure to talk to everyone just for the hell of it. Stay a while and listen. Nothing to have Kane identify, and. Nope. He doesn't have anything new to say. What about you, Mr. Innkeeper Man? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. And nothing from you, unfortunately. He's the one who's given us a lot of our quests, so I had to check. Fix my damn wounds, Pepin. You have nothing to say? But I would like to buy a bunch of potions off you. And hmm. I'll come back to him later. I want to see Adria first, but I am tempted to buy that silver amulet for even more chance to hit. Even though I hit basically every shot I fire now. So the reasons I would be buying it would mostly be bragging rights, considering my chance to hit is in the high 90s, and this is Diablo chance to hit after all, not XCOM chance to hit, so we actually do hit. I sense a soul in search of answers. Anyways, let's just sell off the stuff we're not gonna need. Which wasn't much, admittedly. She has nothing new to say. And 
I still have one more scroll of town portal, so... Provided I don't accidentally use that, thinking it's a scroll of healing, we should be fine. I can just stock up on those next time. Mm. Let's actually check what that amulet does before I up and buy it. Let's see... Chance to hit plus 18% indestructible. That would give me a 100% chance to hit, but like I said, I don't really need that. I think I want to save up for that Plate of the Wolf instead. That would be far more valuable for me, I think. Than an amulet that would up my chance to hit to 100% when it's already at like 93. As you can see right there, 93% chance to hit. Increasing my chance to hit's not that valuable considering my current stats, honestly, so... I'm not gonna bother. So now... Let's go deal with these puppies. Time for us to punish the bad dogs. Back off a little. That was a bit premature. Was that use of the potion? That was not. Okay. We're getting to the point where I need a lot of my gear to be able to get through these levels, so... Yeah. More health. Some healing scrolls and another scroll town portal. It's always nice. Yeah. That armor for more health would be insanely useful to me, to be honest. Because I would not have to spend nearly as much time or money on my potions if I could uh, tank more hits, which I definitely need to be able to do. Number two there. Just a second, I need to reach it. My loadout here. Die properly if you would. Two handed sword is going in the cell pile. Let's move on. Another potion of healing, thank you very much. Over to this place. What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> Here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. Okay. Who is this and what did he give us? Probably gave us one of the books or something. Oh well. Z 
Zars are mad, eh? Okay, well, I'm gonna take your stuff. I hope you don't mind. Your curiosity will be the death of you. <laughs> yeah, well, you're nuts. So there is my response. I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> yeah. I have no room. Can't say I'm particularly upset about the death of a crazy person. After all, he's crazy, therefore he deserved it. That's how this works, right? Crazy people deserve to die? Yeah, sounds legit to me. Also, he did try to murder me just because I wanted to see what was in his bookcase, so my sympathy is rather limited, as I'm sure you understand. Limited sympathy? for people who think wanting to see what's in their bookcase justifies indiscriminate murder. He kind of had it coming, honestly, is what I'm trying to say. That hallway full of dogs is going to be a problem. Got everything set up properly now, so let's see if I can't pick these dogs off a few at a time and then run the fuck away. Okay, note to self, next time don't try to use the healing scroll, because scrolls are really goddamn slow. general problem with scrolls. Okay, let's try again. Come on. Okay. Those doggos are going to be the death of me. Literally. I am, however, going to try something. I'm going to try just running past them. To see if I can... Somehow um, just see what's over here. Yep. of mana. Well. I've got my ass trapped in a room over here. Hmm. Honestly, it's not worth it. I'm content to leave that area of the map unexplored on this save game given. You've seen what's over there. A large collection of dogs who want to throw spitballs at me. It's not worth trying to kill them all or force my way past them. Just for a single potion of mana and a bit of expa. I don't see the benefit as being worth it considering what I'll have to fight my way past, so I'm going to skip out on that and just head down to level 9. It's hot down here. Yeah, seriously. What the fuck is this place? It's definitely... Not part of the cathedral, that much is for sure. And I was saying before how 
some of those upper levels are starting to look fairly hell-like, well, this is even more so. As it happens... Magma Demons, hello? Would you mind dying, guys? Thank you. It's demon murder time. Oh yeah. Time for us to indiscriminately butcher some demons. And goats again. I hate goats. I really hate goats. But at least it's not goat archers, so... I will give them props for not committing the cardinal sin of being archers. Because as we all know, archers are the literal devil in this game. That's how this works, yeah? Archers are pure evil with no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Completely ignoring the fact that I am an archer, of course. Ignoring that fact. Yes, yes. And we have stairs that lead straight up to town, so we could skip out on the usage of my scrolls if I wanted to. Slain hero, eh? What's this? Rest in peace, my friend. I have no room. Long battle bow. Hmm. Drop one of the two-handed swords if I want it. And I think I will. At least long enough to see what this is. It's one to ten damage, at the very least. It's a wider range than what my current bow does, but I can get more max damage, so... I'd say that would be worth it. Okay, let's back off a little. And continue slaughtering demons. Would you die? Thanks. I appreciate your death. It makes you better. Because death is how demons achieve spiritual enlightenment, I'm fairly certain. So I'm actually helping them. And they should be grateful to me for that. That's how this goes, definitely. You achieve spiritual enlightenment by dying if you're a demon. Yes, definitely. That's not contradictory or hypocritical in the slightest. It just works that way. There we go. You're nice and dead. And mushroom. I can't use this yet. Mushroom patch. The hell is that? Huh. So we have a patch of mushrooms lying around. Curious. Wonder what that's for. Probably some quest that I'll pick up later in the game, but I can't think of what it would possibly be. We died from overwhelming numbers, but yeah, maybe that sends me off on some fetch quest for Adria or something. That's the only thing I can honestly think of that a patch of mushrooms 
could be four. As I mean, she has a mage and probably an alchemist as well. So, it's not entirely infeasible that she might need some mushrooms for a potion or some such. I suppose it depends. We'll see. Right now I'm just speculating, really. Speaking of speculating, let's see what's over in this other direction, shall we? I haven't checked out where this leads yet, and I want to. Where it leads is to my death, so... How about not? No thank you seems like the appropriate response to that. Although... No, I do not have more than the one potion. So I don't think I want to try taking those guys on. Well, I will. I'm going to use the potion. And then try to kill them. Long distance, like so. But I don't suspect I'll actually succeed at clearing these guys out. Well, wonders never cease. I did kill them successfully. That group of them, anyways. Here it is. There's a goat. A dead goat. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Again, my death. This time I don't have a potion to counteract that, unfortunately. Running away would seem like the smart way to go about this. I'm pretty much dead at this point. So, it's back to town for us. you my friend hello my friend stay a while and listen for you. Well, what can I do for you?
Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers. Okay, well, I was doing a bit of casual wandering and buying and selling and stuff off camera because, well, you've seen this all before. You know what I tend to do every time, so I'm just kind of going to start cutting that out, I think. But I ran into this fellow over here, the Wart Peg Legged Boy. And I don't think we've encountered him before, so we'll have a little chat. Over here! I have something for sale, but it'll cost 50 gold just to take a look. He says, Oh, I have plenty of money, I'm not opposed. The love of the Titans. Yeah, sorry, that's useless to me. Not interested. Psst, over here! He didn't have anything to say. I'm not gonna talk to him about the Valor. There's some set of armor that's down there, if you've forgotten. And now, here we are. Back on level 9. Back on level 9, and... I'm going to try to make a teensy bit more progress, and... At least 
clear out some of those guys that I didn't get to because of being out of potions. I don't know if I'll actually succeed in that, but I want to give it a go. I'm restocked and everything, so I should be in a reasonable place to attempt these guys. How about Mr. Goaty with the goat face? Taken care of as well. And oh yes. Yeah. You are running an annoying amount of the time. I do not approve. Mr. Goatface. This bow is doing its job well, I'll give him that much. Lightning damage plus normal damage. Until we run into someone who is actually immune to lightning or something to that effect, then I don't think it's going to be something that I feel like a great and hopefully that won't be it for a good long while, because this is an epic bow of epicness. And we're basically two or three shotting all adversaries at this point. Which is awesome. Apparently I do still miss occasionally. But seeing as I'm not yet at a hundred percent chance to hit, that does kind of make logical sense that I will miss a bit. Yeah, we cleared out that little bit over there. Let's keep on going. I'd like to finish off this level if I can. Though, don't put money on it. If it looks like it's going to take me too long to finish, then I will stop this just to keep the episode set. At least I plan to. We all know how well my plans go, though, so I might just forget to stop or something. It would not at all surprise me. Really would not surprise me. I just forgot to stop recording or something. Basically, there are some mushrooms. And mushrooms. Sometimes. Okay, the map's a little more iffy down here because the way a lot of this stuff is laid out. It makes it tricky to know if I've explored an area or not, because it's not thoroughly mapped and gives you all the details like some other stuff would. I can't use this yet. Which makes it a little bit of a pain, honestly. Well, I level up. chance to hit right now. I'm going to put all of my points into dexterity. Up to 93% chance to hit and 11 to 20 damage. Handy. Very handy. And being able to 
two or three shots of a goat, man. It's quite nice. Okay, why the hell did I just pick up Rax? I'd love to know that, because I haven't got the foggiest idea myself. I think this is where I should stop. Unless uh, I keep on recording until we're here for like four hours or something. Because trust me, I want to keep on playing. I really do, but I need to keep these episodes 40 to 50 minutes at most to be able to upload them in a reasonable time frame. So I'm gonna have to cut it here. But don't worry. I will be back next time for more Diablo, because I am very much enjoying this. See you then!